Hi guys, Jesse here. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about character voices versus your real voice. I want to let you know that your real voice is actually your most unique voice. There's a lot of different voices that people can do, and if you are a voice actor, you can be generally replaced by someone who could almost sound exactly how you sound. So you can't really have an ego in that industry. Not that I know anything about that. But I want to discuss how your voice is pretty much every single character voice that you have. It's just less compartmentalized. So for instance, like I have highs, I got a middle, and I got a low. And if you're stuck in those compartments you tend to sound restricted, as if you're embodying a character. So that's what I'm trying to digress, is that your real voice is every single voice that you can do, but you do it naturally. You explore those alleyways and roads of your voice naturally. So you start maybe up high, then you go down lower, then you start low, and then you go up higher. But if I actually stuck like this, you know, it sounds like a character voice or maybe a 1920s radio host or something. Then if I stayed down here, it'd also sound like a character voice, you know, maybe someone that is very masculine and tough. And if I stayed right here, maybe very monotone. And some people, some people actually naturally sound like that, but it's because they, they haven't yet unlocked or are able to fully utilize their, their whole voice and express themselves how they feel internally. So they're kind of locked into that persona or character when naturally we should be able to express ourselves using every single bit of the voice that we were given and to earnestly, out, again, express how we feel on the inside. And... That's what I'm saying, again, is that your your real voice is, you know, your most unique voice. That's why um, Billy West, he's a voice actor. He's been in Futurama. Primarily, that's what I know him from and a lot of other stuff. But when he, when he auditioned for the role of Fry, he used his normal voice and relied on an understanding of the psychology of the character to make him unique. But also, a genius move for him that I'm sure he did, he definitely did intentionally, was that he, he used his normal voice so that they couldn't replace him because your normal voice is your most unique voice. People can replace people who can like sort of sound like this, like Yogi Bear, or like this, you know, that, that, that kind of sound like Shaggy, right? And people can do, do the extremes, but to do a natural, normal voice with your full range, and again, all those roads and alleyways of your voice, um, that's the hardest to replicate because everyone's voice is so unique. You may be able to do a certain impression of someone, but it's only like maybe their cadence. Like most people know Christopher Walken's voice just because it has a cadence to it. Even if you can't do his voice spot on, you can do the cadence. But you can't do the whole thing. You can do a parody of the voice and people who know who you're talking about you know so that's what made billy west so hard to replace and he's irreplaceable and no one ever has and he did so many roles just using his normal voice and 90 percent of the time you will use your normal voice anyway that's all i wanted to say if anybody has any questions about it just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.